All right, welcome to the fourth lesson. So this is the part where we are going to turn this into a game. So we are going to add lives, we are going to add a score. Um, we are going to check if the star is hitting the UFO. If so, we will increase the score. No, we will decrease the lives. Every time the star appears at the top, we will increase the score and then if the lives is zero, we will stop the game and show game over. So if you look here, you can see that our game is already getting more complex. So we are adding a signal. We are adding variables. Um, we will be checking if the star is hitting the UFO. So there are a lot of things. Um, Added. So let's start with adding these variables. So if we go to, so let's make a variable score. And let's make a variable remaining lives. Score, we can, we don't need to add this red line. Score. Okay, and then we can start. So we see if the checkbox is on, then it shows the variable. So here we see now score is zero, remaining lives is zero. But we need to add that when the game starts, lives is set to three and score is set to zero. So we will do that on the background event when the game starts ah we already have that event we will set variable set score to zero and set remaining lives to three so if we try this you can see it works so now what we need to add is that we need to set the background to space team so, loops, switch back, backdrop to space. That is because when we change in the end to the background of game over, the next time we play the game, we want it again to be space. So that's the only reason. And then here, I think for this step, yeah, that's all we have to do. The signal we will leave for the last part of this video. And then for UFO, we will keep checking if we hit the star sprite. So we go to UFO, then the game starts. So when the arrow is clicked, we keep checking. So we do forever. Because we want the code that we put inside, we want to keep it running. Else it would only check one time, and then it would stop. So at sensing, you can see touching so are we touching star we'll do that in an if if touching star then what do we have to do decrease lives so we go to variables change remaining remaining lives with minus one and then check if the game is over so we do if We go to operator smaller than, go to the variables remaining lives. If the remaining lives are smaller than one, then we will send a event, send a signal, sorry, we send a signal, we broadcast it that the game is over. And so we have created then this signal. And then we also need to stop the script because once the game is over, we don't want to keep checking if it's touching a star. It's not relevant anymore. It's only taking up computing power. So we go to control and we say stop this script and stop running. And then this part I will do at the end. And then for the star, we will 
when it's every time the the star is positioned at the top we will increase the score so we go to star and we will set variables change so I still have it here so we go to the score and we set variables change remaining lives by one we will put it after this one second and the reason is that at background we are already setting the score to zero and at the same time at star when the game starts we set it to we will change it by one and the, it could be that the program gets confused like what do i have to do first so as we already are waiting a second here in the script by putting it after here we are sure that it will not occur at the same time when it starts so then let's see um yeah increase the score and i think all that remains then is to when the game is over to stop scripts and to hide and to show the background so let's already try if it behaves the way we want for now oh no here we have made a mistake for the star it's the score we will put up and it remains high so I made a mistake and I also see that the lives keep going down even though it's one star that is because this script is running a lot it's a lot of times per second so when it touches we will have to tell it wait a bit so we go to control and we say wait um, and you just do it when it's touched you can say here we want to immediately see that the lives are going down and then we will say here now please wait for one second let's see three lives it's going slower than one second see so it's not good. We can change it to two seconds. Maybe put it behind this. So if the game is not over, wait two seconds until checking again. I think then we will be okay. So let's see. Three lives. One, two. That's about two seconds. So that's okay. Then zero lives. The game stops. But we see that the score is still not increasing. That's a problem. Let's see why. Here normally the score should be changing. But I still have an old variable here. Sorry. So we go here, change the score by one. Let's try again. Step one, two, two, minus one, three, minus zero. And then you see the game keeps running, and that's because now we need to respond to the signal that the game is over. We want to hide everything. We want to stop the star from falling. We want to hide it. So what we do here at star, we add the event. When I receive game over, I want to stop all the scripts in the sprites and I want to also, I want to hide. So let's check if this works. Two lives remain. One life remain. And then start both. It stays like this, and the score is no longer increasing. So that's the behavior we wanted.
then we will check for the UFO. We will do the same. When I receive game over, I want to hide. Oops. Hide. Let's try again. Ah, we forgot something. When we start the game, we want it to show. See, we start the game, but we don't see the star anymore. That's when it starts, we need to add this block. Show. Same for the UFO. We need to add. Show. And for the background, we are, we're already switching, so that was good. Let's try again. Okay, we see the star again. Light is going down. Light is going down. Okay, and these are gone. So now what we want to do is switch to background. So we go to background, events. When I receive game over, I switch the backdrop to game over. Let's see if this works. Score is one, you name life six. Two, score is one, you name life six. Score is three, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. So, then, also here probably we want to stop the song. So here when I receive game over, you know, Stop this song being played. And then there's one last thing I want to do. And this that's to add a little animation. When the star touches the UFO, it, it like triggers a bit. So we can do this here at the UFO. When it touches and the the game is not over, we will add a little animation, so we will hide it, and show it, and hide it, and show it, and we will wait for a very small time, so 0 0.1 seconds. Need to be careful. I was overwriting things here. So it's 0 0.1 seconds. Let's try again. Now we see a little animation. So making a game or programming in general it means being really careful. On beforehand you need to think carefully what do I want there to happen and what should certainly not go wrong and then when we try it we check for all those things that we don't want to break existing functionality so see lives go down score goes up that's good still working still working so we're happy. And for now our game is finished. Actually it works with the arrows the way we want to. The next part is going to be how can we control it through artificial intelligence.